हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग लेडीज एंड जेंट्स एस्टीम ऑफिशियल्स एंड डेलीगेट्स मेंबर्स ऑफ द मीडिया एंड ऑडियंस आई एम इशुता गुहा एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन आई एक्सटेंड अ वॉर्म वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू We appreciate you taking time of your busy schedules to join us today. We hope that Cha Cha 2021 will be a learning and fruitful experience for all of you. Moving on to our first keynote address, which is themed, "What does it mean to be skilled?" The keynote intends to set the tone of day two at Cha Cha 2021. The keynote speaker is Professor Dr. Niharika Vora, Vice Chancellor, Delhi Skill and Entrepreneurship University. Dr. Bora is a specialist in behavioral science and has deep experience of working in the corporate sector as a consultant, coach, mentor, and independent director. She has been a professor of organizational behavior at Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad, for the past 21 years. We now request Dr. Bora to come up on stage and begin the keynote address. Over to you, Dr. Bora. Hi, thank you, Ishita, and welcome all members of the audience. Uh, it, this is still uh, not normal to be able to speak to people who you can't see. Uh, so I'm assuming all of you are, um, you know, comfortable wherever you are, uh, and are um, and are committed to this whole comp uh, discussion on skill development. now i am going to very quickly talk about why is it important to be skilled it's almost like why should you know how to walk um or why you should know how to talk all of these things so uh, in a way uh, i'm going to talk about the obvious um <clears throat> i um i will start off by talking about um a number of incidents from my own life that i have um, i have very often experienced and observed uh, and in that process talk about the whole reason why i think we should be uh, skilled um so i think i was uh, uh, i was seeing a doctor who a dentist uh, because i had some problems with my gums and and he was a very very um a senior um, orthodontist some very special you know specialist in that and and i went to him and he said okay you this needs this kind of fixing and um, he had somebody who would uh who would be uh, actually doing the work so he would set it up and then somebody would be doing the work and i would notice that right at the time that this person would be about to finish their work this doctor who was having conversations with another patient or doing something else and typically really busy would simply stand up and he'd be next to the uh, to the um, you know the doctor who was working on me and me uh, actually making sure that what was done was done correctly i think this is a mark of a very very highly skilled dentist even though he's not performing the task himself he has of course done it so many times that while somebody else is doing and he is doing maybe two different other things he would just know what when was the time for him to stand up and give the last touches to what was being done so skill itself is not just about performing something by your hand it is in fact the ability of you and yourself uh to make a judgment about whether something is done or not whether something needs a little more touch or not and so that in my mind was a is 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 what skilling is about right skill is not just about spending 3 months learning something uh knowing that i can you know uh, do this and this that work but in fact it is about your uh about learning the science behind it doing it well 
and then being able to supervise somebody else who does it and also to have the judgment to know when is something done and when it is not done so that's one example of skilling the second story that i want to say it's not my personal story but it's another interesting story that i often like to talk about and this is where um you know there was a very very uh, there was an artist who was commissioned to make uh, um to sculpt angels on the top of a uh, of a religious place and uh, so he uh, he charged whatever he needed to charge he worked on the um, the the skilling um, uh, he worked on the making of the uh the uh, of the sculpture and um and then when the payment had to be made this person the the person the contractor who had to make the payment came to inspect these sculptures and when he saw he saw that not only had he done something that was front facing perfect but the back facing was also absolutely perfect so this contractor said why did you waste money right there's nobody who's going to be able to see the back of it you should have just done the front and and that's all that is important and i'm only going to pay you for the front he said well you might only pay me for the front but for me to have completed something had to be done perfectly and even if nobody else sees you see it and i see it and therefore the back has to be just like the front has to be and um, and again the the point i want to make is to be skilled is to recognize that you just don't do it because somebody pays you for doing this you do it because it also gives you the satisfaction of having done something well so it is not always because it is functional because it is a jugaad but it is because it really helps you to complete the task so that is another um, aspect of skilling the third part of skilling and why i think we all need to be skilled is um for something to run perfectly sure. for the, something to be able to work well you need to ensure that that there is enough attention paid to detail and it is done well not just to look well but to actually function well so whether it is the code that you write whether it is the doctor who is the surgeon whether it is a plumber whether it is a railsman uh, uh, a, a person working on a rail track or uh, whether it is when you are performing you know somebody who would have designed the uh, the air meet uh, ensuring that everything that you need works perfectly or it is the event that you are doing so it is about ensuring that all parts of the piece work together so that what you need to do gets uh, why you're doing it not only looks good but it actually works for what it is meant to work for so that again is an extremely important part of that is extremely important part of skill uh, development excuse me for a second we got talk sorry um um uh, excuse me um so again just give me a second please um skilling what it means to be skilled is to um again have the capability to uh, uh, what it means to be skilled is to have the capability to know what is required who is required for it and how much is required and then to ensure that the outcome happens 
so now the question that you might ask as a youth or as um, as something is you know why i can actually learn something for three months why are we talking about all of this my my um, uh, thought and and what i'm looking at is saying uh, really as a as a um, as a uh, skilled person the country needs skill the country needs people to be able to work do something well mm? uh, the you will we will not be able to have uh, uh, an economy uh, with something that runs on jugad where i'm only improvising and i'm only working with something because uh, we are uh, we are believing that you know it last moment mein kuch karenge to ho jayega uh, skilling would require would mean that we are perfect and and we do things that stay for a longer time and just to again put this in the context uh the rice farmers of india okay uh have never uh you know been too concerned if one variety of rice doesn't work because over the 5000 years of their rice con- uh, of their rice cultivation they have become such skilled rice farmers and this is not just of india but india china indonesia all the rice growing countries uh, there is such fine judgment that has developed in rice cultivation that in fact there are more than 55000 varieties of rice which will uh, survive in various kinds of environment as they are working on it so Uh, as as they work on the rice field that is skill right we need skill to survive we need skill for um, excellence we need skill because that is the only way any economy has ever developed sustainably hmm? uh, we need skill because skill is what ensures personal community and the success of the entire world i you might think that i'm overstating my case uh, however i'm sure if each one of you just spend a few moments reflecting on what is one of your most significant experiences in any context in teaching in in receiving education in receiving a service in receiving something it is always if you go back to it it will always map back to somebody who is really skilled at what they do it is about meeting and uh, working with or receiving or being taught or being having a conversation with somebody who is very skilled at what they do and again i think one last thing that i would say is that when i am skilled i also feel passionate about what i do it is never somebody who is skilled is never going to be disengaged with their work when i'm skilled i take pride in it i i feel engaged with it and i will always do it well no matter what and that i think is something that is another why we should all learn skill i get bored with something that i don't like doing or i'm not good at doing but when i'm good at doing something i never get bored at it because i continuously do better in that entire process and that is my reason why i think each person irrespective of age irrespective of education must find something in which they become really really skilled so whether it is cooking whether it is cleaning whether it is coding whether it is being a data analytic whether it is being a scientist it is the skill 
that differentiates you from being a successful or an unsuccessful, from somebody who's satisfied and somebody who's dissatisfied, from somebody who's a producer and somebody who is a, a non-producer. Skill doesn't mean that you will never fail. You will fail, but you will know how to learn from your failure and do better. So I, I guess I've finished my 15 minutes. I should stop here. My uh, So uh, skill is not just for a job. It's, it's, a, it's a way of life. And that's why we should be skilled. Thank you. Thanks, ma'am. Uh, I'll end Thank the you, session. Dr. Niharika. As you rightly said, skill is not something that we do for getting a job, but it's a way of life. Thank you for those insightful words and wisdom. Thank you so much. Thank you.